Hi everyone, welcome to Wiggle and Learn Cooking Show. My name is Miss Sam and this is Miss Allegra. Hello. What are you cooking for us today? I'm not sure, I was thinking maybe some chicken nuggets or some mac and cheese, but I'm still figuring it out. Do you know who we're gonna learn about today? We are gonna learn about a man named Jeremiah. He was a prophet. At first he was afraid, but then God helped him. Wow, now Sam, here's your snack. It's Thank a you. special French toast, and I hope it's yummy. Oh my God, there's something on the bottom of my plate. What is it? I think it's our new big picture question. It says, why should we obey God? Now, I know that we're supposed to obey God, but why, Sam? I'm so glad you asked, Allegra. It's because God loves us. Wow, God must love us so much. Now, Sam, can you help me find the Bible story clue for today? Of course. Do you see it anywhere? Hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a treasure box. What's inside? Look, it's different clothes for different jobs. Wow, this must be the clue because God gave Jeremiah a very special job. Now, Sam, can you help us get our wiggles out? Of course. Let's do it a little different today. Let's okay. get on our knees. Can you wiggle your hands down here? How about a pie? Can you wiggle your nose? Can you wiggle your elbows? Oh, that was so much fun. Okay, now, can you reach as high as you possibly can? And let's sit down as we learn more about Jeremiah today. All right, boys and girls, we get to learn more about Jeremiah together. You see, God told Jeremiah he was going to be a prophet to the nations. Let's read our Bible story together. It says, God said to Jeremiah, I knew you before I made you and your mother's room. Before you were born, I chose you to do very special things. I chose you to be a prophet to the nations. Now, what does being a prophet mean? Being a prophet means listening to God and telling his people messages. So being a messenger for God. But Jeremiah didn't think he could do it. He was afraid. Jeremiah told God that he was too young and he didn't know how to talk in front of other people. But do you want to know what God said? God said, no. Can you shake your head with me? Shake your head. God told Jeremiah that he could do it, that he would be with him, and that he would give him the words to say. He even reached out and touched Jeremiah's mouth. And then God gave Jeremiah two visions. Can you hold up two fingers like this? Great job, boys and girls. The first vision was of an almond branch, and it was to show that God would be with Jeremiah and keep his promise. And the second vision was of a pot that was boiling over and overflowing from the north. It meant that trouble was going to come from the north, and that's what gave Miss Allegra the idea for today's cooking show. And God promised Jeremiah to be with him. And Jeremiah went and told God's people the messages he was supposed to tell them. And this brings us to our Christ connection. Let's read it together. God had a plan for Jeremiah before Jeremiah was born. God called Jeremiah to share God's message about sin. In a similar way, God had planned all along to send his son Jesus to show people what God is like and to rescue them from sin. Isn't that an amazing Bible story? Now it's time for our memory verse. All right, everyone, let's learn our new memory verse. Can you wiggle your fingers and your arms? Here we go. I will give them one heart and put a new spirit within them. Ezekiel 11:19. Let's say that one more time. I will give them one heart and put a new spirit within them. Ezekiel 11:19. Great job, everyone. 
Okay, everyone, let's get ready to pray together. Let's sing our song. Here we go. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Fold them in your lap, lap, lap. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much. Today we learned how you helped your people. Help us remember about your love and how much you care for us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, do you hear that sound? Could it be the drum roll? You know what time it is. It's time to stand up and let's worship together. We love, we love, we love, we love. We love, we love, we love, we love. Because, because you first loved us. song. Are you ready for our next song? I can't hear you. Let's worship together. Oh, oh.
you know our very last song. It's our alligator goodbye song. On the count of three, let's see your big alligator snap. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs>